<laughs> uh, I worked at, I just came back from Cuban National Valley. Before that, I was in Washington Valley, PNB, Wim Wim, Atlanta Valley, Valley Austin, Augsburg Valley, uh, Dutch National Valley, Scapino Valley, Chemnitz Valley, Ballet National de Marseille, Grand Théâtre de Genève. Did I say Scottish Ballet? <laughs> I did already. Uh, Pennsylvania Ballet, Ballet X, Luna Negra, Ballet Hispanico. Oh, Compagnia Nacional de Danza in Madrid. Uh, Dance Theatre Ankara, Dance Theatre Istanbul. And that's it. Oh no, Incol Ballet de Colombia, of course. Uh, uh, Ballet Nacional Dominicano. And I think that's it. Couple. It's, it's just a couple. Impressive <laughs> list. <laughs> uh, I'm a traveler. Uh, yes, you are. Um, yes, I, I know how to pack lightly after all these years. <laughs> just like all my cameras, all my gadgets get small and small every year. For Move Media One was a choice by Patricia Barker. She saw a piece that I made in 2011 for Colombia, my first piece for them, and it's called Memorias del Dorado, and uh, it's based on the uh, again a memory. When I was seven years old, I went to Colombia. That was the only time I went to Colombia in my whole life before I returned 30 years later, and I had vivid memories of the uh, Museum of uh, Gold in Bogota. And my uncle, when I visited him 30 years later, took me there and I remembered that museum. And I was like, I have to make a piece about this. And so I thought that it would be nice to make a piece about the history, how these golden figurines were stolen by the Spanish conquistas and uh, how the indigenous, the in Indian people there, did not understand why the Spanish wanted the gold and not the potatoes. Because you couldn't live with gold. Gold was just a decoration and an art form. But for them, for the Spanish people, it meant to, that they would gain power and status when they would go back with the gold in, in Spain. So the piece is about how this, the women, the female dancers, will represent the gold, and the male dancers of the company will represent the Spanish conquista. And how, of course, this Spanish man fell in love with some of these indigenous women and thought they were amazing and they cooked well the potatoes. <laughs> so some of them stayed there and they created actually the new race, which is the, the modern Colombia right now. And I'm <laughs> a product, a cocktail of that. I don't know, I think that when I make a choreography, that's the part that, uh, that is the hardest and the longest, that takes the longest. Sometimes I can be looking for music for eight months just for one piece. So I always fall in love with one piece of music, and then I'm always thinking, oh, this could be the beginning of a piece. And then from that, I, it has to be a journey, and it has to be different a uh, aspects of that one theme. And sometimes I find other music, and then that first piece of music has to, this you know, disappear because there's a better adagio, there's a better beginning. And then, you know, I try to take my public on a journey so that they don't fall asleep. <laughs> what? Who are the composers? Uh, I have Max Richter, two pieces of him. I have Vival, oh no, I took that one out because we have a, a short version for Move Media. I have Bach, I have Banabila. Michel Banabila is a Dutch composer that I've worked a couple of times with, so I went to, to my archive and I'm using one of his pieces. So there are not many composers, we have like six sections and they're divided with all of these. And there's a bit of my soundscape in between. Because in the, you're gonna hear like drops and rain, because in the jungle there's a lot of rain 
that's part of, so it's just to create that atmosphere of what the sounds are there. <laughs> 